Hello, readers. I am here because I wanted to share a great book that I read with you. Um, I love this book, Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus uh, by Dusty Bowling. I am always looking for great books and there are so many great ways to find great books. I think I found this one um, as a nominee for the Mark Twain Reader Award. Um, living in Missouri, that is a great place to look for really good books that other readers enjoy and um, that they think you would enjoy as well. So this book is really interesting because it is about, well, let me read you the first paragraph and, and I think that you will get a big theme in the book or a big uh, part of the book. When I was little, a kid pointed at me on the playground and shouted, Her arms fell off! then ran away screaming in terror to his mom, who had to cuddle him on her lap and rub his head for like 10 minutes to get him to calm down. I think up until then, I hadn't thought about the idea that my arms must have actually fallen off at some point in my life. I had never really thought about not having arms at all. So as you can see, the main character, Avon, has no arms. And so this book talks a lot about how that does not hold her back from anything. Um, there's uh, another character that she meets um, because her family has to move and take on a new job in a new place. So even though she's never really thought that much about not having arms, um, it becomes something new to the other people around her because she is new to them. Um, and this other character, Connor, becomes an important part of her life and he's also dealing with something that makes him different. Uh, I like this book because there's a little bit of mystery in it too, which makes it kind of exciting. And then at the end, there's actually this twist that you probably will not see coming. So if I could recommend a book for you to read, I would definitely suggest Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus. I hope you pick it up and I hope you enjoy.